Not much has changed. <clears throat> of course, since the game, still disappointed, of course. Didn't play well, lost the football game. Uh, had opportunities. Um, don't think we were necessarily not ready to play. Uh, whenever you can uh, start off like that, take away right away. Had an opportunity to, uh, uh, to get some points on the board. Touch, uh, inside the five, call back. Big penalty there after we got the takeaway and uh, ended up missing the field goal. That kind of set us on a bad track throughout the game. Too many, uh, turned the ball over too many times on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, the one bright spot was taking the ball away three times, but uh, whenever you lose a battle up front, we lost a battle up front. Our offensive line versus our defensive line, our defensive line versus uh, their offensive line. So it's going to be tough duty. Uh, so disappointing loss for us. Uh, in that loss, we had some injuries, more than we've had. We banged up the early part of the week, especially at the, probably the linebacker position. But hopefully later in the week, we'll get more of our players back. Take your questions. Mike's another guy that's banged up. Um, you know, then finish the game. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Uh, Trey Watson is banged up also. We have quite a few guys that are banged up. Mike Dudick, yes. Uh, Trey Watson, yes. Both guys are having knee injuries. Um, Julian Jones went out with a knee injury. Delshawn Phillips, shoulder injury. Io, shoulder. I'm trying to think of who else. I think about five of the linebackers that have injuries. <clears throat> Early part of the week. Uh, so we'll, you know, we don't practice today. Tomorrow we'll be back out on the football field. We'll know a little bit more then. Minnesota, of course, um, lost three games also in a row. Well, not also, but three games in a row. So I know they, you know, can't wait to try to get back on the winning track too. Um, so as disappointed as we are to get a Big Ten win on the road, would really give us some confidence, of course, that we need. Did you see any difference between Jeff George last week against um, Iowa and this week against Rutgers? I mean, there are, I mean, there are small improvements that we're making, yes, but uh, can't turn the football over. It's not like everybody on our football team played bad in that game. Uh, James Crawford on the defensive side uh, played well, <clears throat> which we expect. Uh, Ricky Smalling on the offensive side of the football uh, did some good things. Both of those guys had, you know, good games, games that uh, will allow us to win later on with. But we need more. I guess with an unclear situation, that linebacker with all of those guys coming off injuries on Saturday, what do you maybe look for this week in practice from, you know, are you looking at some other guys to, to fill those roles? Or well, that's how it goes. I mean, it's always next guy up. Uh, I mean, we have a game to play. We have other players. So when injuries happen, it's the next guy up. Um, it's not like you're going to, you know, once the season starts, you can't, no waiver wire or anything like that, right? So you you uh, move the players up. You hope they've been paying attention uh, and uh, go from there, and that's what we'll start doing. What, what did you see from the defensive line where Rutgers was so successful? On the they just beat us up front. I mean, I don't know what else there is. They pushed us off the ball. Um, as much as anything, uh, our past defense wasn't what it needs to be. We, we broke, let them break containment too many times. We, we, you know, I've acknowledged that they, you know, beat us, you know, with our running game. But we had third downs, favorable third down situations where we let the quarterback scramble. Those were third downs. You're off the football field. We have to be able to convert in those situations. They've been playing like the rest of our team, haven't played their best ball right now. Bobby, Isaiah, and everyone else, uh, for the most part. But again, it's not 100%. I mentioned James Crawford, but our, our young players haven't played as well. But um, up until halftime of the season, they have a chance now to catch their breath and come back strong the second half. Was there any thought of putting Cam Thomas in the game on Saturday? Uh, no. 
you know, the guys we played, the guys we thought we needed to play to win. How did the offensive line look? Were you guys looked at the film? When we say we got beat up front, uh, I mean, that, that, that was, of course, you start with the offensive line, Bob. Um, you know, kept the same group together for the most part. And Rutgers did, you know, give Rutgers a lot of credit. You know, they did a good job up front. Some of their movements, uh, you know, got us off a little bit. Well, <clears throat> you know, of course, the same personnel, a lot of the same personnel we played against last year. So we're familiar with that. <clears throat> and also playing Western Michigan last year, we're familiar with their schemes. So we have, you know, feel like we have a good game plan to go on. Um, as I mentioned, they've lost three games in a row. So uh, I'm sure they searched for answers too. Change, you know, they played a couple of different quarterbacks, went to another Ended up with the guy that we'll probably see, which is a little bit different than the starter they've been playing most of the year. But commitment to the run, um, and that's what we, and based on how we played this week, I feel like we'll get a good, good dose of that. Are you concerned in a situation like this, your players lose confidence? If so, how do you address it? You know, that's a catchy phrase, lose confidence. I mean, yeah. When you don't play well, you know, you got to get better. Simple as that. Can't, you know, it's not a, it's not a sport where you worry about a whole lot of feelings like that. When you play bad, you should feel bad, and uh, you get confidence when you know what you're doing and you're making plays. So, you just try to get the guys in a better position to do that. Uh, confidence will come, you know, when you make more plays, and that's what we have to be able to do. It's as simple as that. Not looking too far ahead. Play at a time. Positive plays on top of positive plays, eliminating mistakes, playing a little harder, and those things won't be there. Coach, you had a lot of recruits here the other day. What do you tell them through struggles like this? Oh, and I don't think you you tell them they have an opportunity to play. I mean, those players. I mean, players. You look to recruiting. Uh, they're pitching uh, the team when they're there, when they come on board. <clears throat> so I think recruits are looking at that more opportunity to play which, of course, hopefully they saw that from some of the positions. I think it's more that. And that's why the Ricky Smallings, Bobby Roundtrees, and guys like that chose to come here. Just one carry for Reggie Corbett on Saturday. Do you need to find ways to get him involved more, maybe as a kind of a counter to Ray we need We need to find ways to be productive here. It's not about one player. Um, and uh, in order for you to get more carry, sometimes you need to have a little bit better start. So, again, everything we're doing is what we think we need to do to win games. The individuals <clears throat> can't really, you know, we're not looking just to pad individual stats. Um, Reg is a part of what we want to do. In order to get more guys involved, you need to be able to sustain drives a little bit better, have more opportunities for everyone. And when you don't have success, it eliminates a lot for everyone. Uh, with such similar schemes through uh, with T.J. Fleck and everything, is it worth it to watch like Western Michigan or tape from last year? Are you going to be watching that? Uh, yep, we're going to watch that, I promise. we watched that a few times, uh, I promise. <clears throat> you know, what they're going to probably do, they're going to probably do the same thing with us. It's not a whole lot of secrets, though. You know, everybody has a, you know, who we are is kind of out there. We don't change an awful lot on a basic philosophy that a coach, a staff has. And uh, they won't, we won't. Well, how has uh, Nick Alvarez had a good season at this point? Um, how has he kind of taken on his mm -hmm. role with so many young guys around him? What's he meant to you guys? Well, you, you need leaders. When you have a group as long as young as our group is, you need, uh, yes, guys that are vocal. <clears throat> that have been in situations, a lot of situations that young players haven't. Uh, Nicky has, is in that role for us. And, uh, but he'll be the first one to say that, you know, he has played well. I mean, no one on our team has really played well, you know, throughout the year, Nick included. But Nick shows up the same way each day, hard worker, hasn't missed anything, going to fight you until the end. And that has to be good for young players and all those 
you know, young linemen to see daily with everything that he does. A couple weeks ago, you said you guys weren't a passing team the last two weeks. <clears throat> Jeff George has thrown the ball for career highs both games. Do you feel like that's starting to level out a little bit? Well, you want to, <clears throat> I mean, what we would like to be is a balanced team. So, you know, a lot of times you look at when we are passing that much, um, we need to and we have to. We've been behind those games, so you have to pass a little bit more. But what we want to be each week going into the games and, of course, finishing games is to have that balance. And I'd say most of the games, that the two that we won, we probably had a little bit more of that. Again, if you're having to pass an awful lot at the end, it's not a good thing normally. Um, <clears throat> I know him. Uh, don't know him well. Uh, you know, I've, I don't have a whole lot of best buddies in the coaching profession, so uh, we don't hang out and vacation or anything like that. But I don't with anybody. But uh, I mean, I know the reputation of all the coaches. I know he's done a good, did a great job at Western Michigan, and uh, and he'll do a good job at Minnesota. This is a conference full of great coaches. You would agree with. A lot of good coaches, yeah. I mean, that term great, you know, how are you defining great there? There's a lot of good coaches there, absolutely. Winning coaches. A lot of winning coaches have done great jobs in the places they've been, yes.